Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite Thanksgiving side dishes. It's an Italian sausage potato casserole. This recipe dates back to my father's Italian family. And the story goes that the family was so big that they would actually have two turkeys at Thanksgiving. And in those days, they would actually stuff the turkey with the stuffing, and that's kind of all you got. Well, because there were so many people, they needed another side dish to help round it out. Hence, the Italian sausage potato bake was born. It is really delicious and so easy to put together. It is that one thing that everybody always fights over when they get up for leftovers. Let me show you how to make it. So we're first going to begin by peeling our russet potatoes. You need about three and a half pounds. Anywhere from about six to seven potatoes is usually enough. Once they're all peeled and ready to go, we're gonna cut them in half and then cut them in quarters and put them in a pot of water to boil. While our potatoes are boiling, we can get on with cooking our sausage. So in a large saute pan, we're gonna add a drizzle of olive oil, about a tablespoon, then we are going to use four sweet Italian sausage and we're gonna remove it from its casings. We're gonna pop it in the hot pan. And then another thing that I like to do, even though Italian sausage usually does come seasoned, I never feel like it's enough. So I do like to add at least another teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then brown the sausage, cutting it up with your wooden spoon as it cooks until it's completely cooked through. Then we are going to transfer the sausage with a slotted spoon onto a plate lined with paper towel and allow it to cool and drain. Then once our potatoes are ready, there's two ways you can go. You can either just drain them and get right to the mixing part, or you can take the extra step. And because it's Thanksgiving, I do like to take the extra step when it comes to mashed potatoes. Because this was a trick that my mother-in-law showed me the first year we were married. She came to our house for Christmas and she presented me with a ricer. I looked at this contraption and I thought, what am I supposed to do with this? And just wondered, was it really worth the effort? And I'm here to tell you, it is totally worth the effort. You take your potato, you put it in this contraption, you press down and you will see, you will get little, almost they look like grains of rice, potato. And what that does is it prevents any of those lumps that you get sometimes with mashed potatoes and gives you just the smoothest, most decadent puree. So if you have the time and you have this contraption lying around and you didn't know what to do with it, this is what you do with it. Then to our potatoes, we're going to add four tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted is best. And then to our potatoes, you can either add a cup of half and half, so half milk, half cream, which makes this quite a decadent dish. So I usually do that just because it's the holidays after all. Or you could also use a cup of milk and two teaspoons of salt. These do take a lot of salt because potatoes will just absorb that salt. So two teaspoons is usually what it needs. Then you can go ahead and beat these up until they're nice and fluffy and everything is combined. And then to that, we are gonna add half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And then you're also gonna add your sausage. Go ahead and just mix that all up. And then you're gonna transfer it to a low gratin dish. Now I do like to use something low and wide like this because that way everybody's gonna get a little bit of the gratin on top when we put the cheese. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add the remaining cup of shredded mozzarella cheese just all over the top. And then we're gonna sprinkle with a little bit of paprika to taste and some freshly cracked pepper. Now, at this stage, you could cover this and put it in your fridge if you are making this the day before Thanksgiving. Then when Thanksgiving does come and it's time to heat them up, you're gonna to wanna to put them in a 425 degree oven covered for just about 20 minutes. And then you're going to release the foil and then don't even remove the rack to put it up to the broiling implement. Just keep it right where it is. Hit broil for about one to two minutes, keep an eye on it. And then once that cheese is browned and bubbly, it's ready to go. And then the final step is just to garnish with some freshly chopped Italian parsley. And you will see, you will have one fantastic side dish for your Thanksgiving table. I hope you guys give this one a try and it becomes a classic at your Thanksgiving table. It certainly has been one at ours for years. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy and I will see you back here tomorrow for another edition of my Holiday Helper series. We are going to tackle the centerpiece. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. It was really unthinkable, don't stop.